that you get me down I didn't see it coming Your truth in your eyes Made a fool out of me Cause I believed your lies Hi there, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Talk Show. Today's topic is, I am secretly seeing my best friend's ex-husband. Well, I don't know if you guys all know about me, but I'm not real big on this type of scenario. There's a lot more people out there that you can choose from. Why are you complicating your life by choosing somebody who's really should be unavailable to you? If this is your dearest long-term friend, why would you jeopardize that? Because friendships are really, really important and they can outlast a lot of relationships. So if you're going to go there, you really need to sit there and weigh out all the pros and cons here. Now, the fact that you said you're secretly seeing him just goes to show that you know it's not right or you know that your best friend's going to have a se severe issue with this. So if you already know that, what is the question here, really? Because she's not going to have the same friendships around her. Her children are now going to be hanging, if she has children, are going to be hanging out with you on the weekends instead of their mother. Um, and they're used to her being in your life as your best friend. So this is just an, a weird, weird situation all around. Now, the only time it could probably work is if there's been a 10-year, 5 to 10-year gap where you actually have talked about it. It's not secret. You have said to each other that it's okay and you give your blessing, that your best friend can now date your ex. These things are, are okay. And sometimes that does work because they realize that you're more suited for the ex-husband than she was. So that can happen. But because you're doing it secretively, you already know in your heart that there, this isn't a good idea. If this is a recent breakup between your best friend and her husband, this is going to be double heartbreak for her because she's now losing both of you and she's feeling very betrayed. And when you feel betrayed and you're trying to get over a breakup of any kind, it just adds insult to injury here. So if you really truly consider yourself her best friend, you're not going to go there unless you've talked to her about it. And if you can't talk to her about it, then I can tell you right now, it's not a good idea to go there. But the minute it becomes a secretive situation, you're cheating with the ex, you're cheating on your best friend, and you're cheating yourself because you're not being honest. So stop being that person that's kind of sneaking around behind and, and just hoping everything works out for the best because I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of hurt. And do you really want to be responsible for that? I know the ex has got a lot to do with this, but we're talking about you and your best friend here. So think about it. If you really feel there's a huge connection between the two of you, then sit down, be honest with her, tell her, I'm really sorry. I didn't choose for this to happen. Um, what can we do about this? And if you really can't find a, a happy medium, you're going to have to make a choice. Best friends are not always easy to find or to hold on to. So please make sure you know what you're doing in this situation. So thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my videos. I'm thankful for all my new subscribers. And uh, check out cybersue.com for more blogs and videos and articles. And my advice column if you want to write to me there. Thanks everyone. Take care. Like a cake.